We're living in a new world. And it's inhabited by some new people. Who are these people? The millennials. The millennials are generally defined as um, individuals who were born from the year around, it, it, things change a little, but 1980, 1982 to the mid-2000s. And you can Google, I actually Googled and did some reading for this because I wanted to talk about millennials. I didn't talk about that last time. Millennials, what they want from work. And actually, the article, I'm going to go to the article. It was called Millennials, What They Want from Work and Why We Should Give It to Them. <laughs> so 64% want to make the world a better place. So if you have a child who tells you that they want to do something meaningful and make the world a better place, okay, there's not something wrong with them. Okay, this is part of their generation. They want to do meaningful work. They want, and they get to define meaningful in terms of what it means to them because everybody has a diff different definition of what meaningful means. They want to make a contribution. They want to use their talents to make a difference. They want to make the world a better place that's more important to them than money. Be their own boss. I think um, what this means is not necessarily that they all want to be entrepreneurs. I think it means that they want to have control over their work and the way they do their work and maybe where they do their work. 88% um, want to be collaborative. So they love working in teams. This is what I find with, with clients in this age group that I work with. They, they want to work with like-minded people who are highly engaged, really motivated, moving forward to a commonly understood goal to get something done. And that it's not competitive. They're not competitive. They're collaborative. Flexible work schedules, look at that, 74%. And 88%, so this is really interesting to me. It's not work-life balance. They don't even understand what that means because that implies compartmentalization. It's your work and your life. They want their life and their work to flow together. They want work-life integration. And I took some more notes on here. There was, um, in the article that I read called What Millennials Want and Why We Should Give It to Them, there was a young man who was quoted saying that what he does is he stays with a job for two to four years, learns what he needs to learn, and then moves on um, to the next position that he wants. So they're very proactive in seeking out opportunities that will allow them to develop how they want to develop in terms of where they want to go. So if you, as a millennial, don't have a sense of where you're going or what you want to do or what your talents are, what that means is that you're going to kind of like move around from experience to experience and you might need some help in weaving those experiences together. Yeah, there, I mean, I looked at articles in Forbes magazine, The Atlantic, all you have to do is put in Google millennials what they want and you'll get a, a lot of information. So my question to you is why should we care? Why should we care about millennials? Because think about that. 40% of the working population in four years, they are changing everything. They're already a third of the population in this country. Think about that. 40% of the working population, that's why we need to give them what they want. And they're helping to usher us in to a whole new age of work. <laughs>